everybody. Today I'm coming at you with a tutorial for another one of my awesome Delta Slides. This one allows you to control a card anywhere in the deck you want, so it's really useful. It's called the DM Shift, and that stands for Delta Multidimensional Shift, which is why I abbreviated, abbreviated it, obviously. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be covering how to control a card down the deck. So, for example, if I wanted to control it fourth from bottom, with, say, the two of spades, um, do this light, and it's done. This time I'll con control it to the bottom, say, nine of diamonds, and just like that, control. Let me do the L jog version, which is slightly more convincing, it looks like this. Say so they say stop here. And they say stop at the two, or I'm sorry, the nine of spades. And I'll leave that sticking out in the deck. Say I want to control the card to the bottom of the deck. Even if I push the card in when it's that far down, I still controlled it. And that's awesome. I'll be teaching that in a different tutorial after I'm done covering all my delta slides. Okay, by the way. Just saying, I've come up with another one that I didn't mention in my Delta Move video. And that will be coming soon. Okay, so let's learn how to do this one. So, let me come around back to the tutorial. The first step is to get your break above however many cards you want to be below the selection. So, say you want the card to be fourth on the bottom, get a break above three cards. Okay, so that's step one. So you, you have that break the entire time. You get a selection, say the six of diamonds. And when you close the spread, or whatever, you use your ring finger to get a break. Not your pinky, because your pinky is occupied. You use your ring finger. So now you have two breaks that shouldn't be too visible from the front. What's going to happen now? is this is kind of where the slight and the popping out starts to happen. So what's going to happen is your whole hand is kind of going to tense so as to move left. And you're, you're still maintaining both of those breaks. This one more than the other, or the uh, ring finger more than the other one because it's pulling it out. Pulling it out, excuse me. So what's happening you're bringing it over and you're holding it in between your thumb and your middle finger of your cover hand as you should know already from the delta pass so if you haven't seen the delta pass you're gonna have to know that so you bring it over you hold it and then with only these two fingers you pop it out now with your pinky naturally it's gonna insert itself into these other cards so you it's going to like deepen its pinky break like a classic bass would. So you bring this over, you pop it out, and it's important to get a deep grip with your cover hand because at this point you're going to have to pull the packet that it's holding up. Okay? So let's kind of start from the beginning. You have a deep cover hand grip as you should with all of your delta moves. You come over, you hold it, you pop it out, and what happens now is your third finger, middle finger, and thumb just kind of pull up. And that squares everything up up here. So now you're left in this position. Okay, from there you just pull up with your cover hand and pull down with your bottom hand. Just a little bit so as to clear the side of the pack. And now you're here. And all you have to do is close it. And square it up. And you've controlled it to wherever you want in the deck. So let's go over that again. You have the selection. Get a ring finger break as well as your pinky break below the number of cards at the bottom. Insert your pinky. Bring it over. Pop it out. Pull up. Come down and up. And square everything up. And maybe it's good to riffle riffle up the uh, cards after a move because when they hear the noise they think hmm I wonder what's going on but then when you give the riffle you kinda show that cards often make that noise 
if you know what I mean. Pop it out, come up. Beautiful. Now, to control it to the bottom, it's pretty much uh, just the same thing without those two breaks. So, you get your selection. You pop it out as you would like the Delta Pass. This is exactly the same position. But you pull up, clear the side, and just square it up and give it a ruffle. Um, so that's the DM shift. I'll be giving a tutorial on how to control the card up in the deck later. But for now, uh, practice that. By the way, this is just some announcements. I am going to be going to an Aaron Fisher lecture, if you don't know who he is. Where have you been for the past ever? He's awesome. Um, and while it's going on, I'm going to get some new decks. And just saying, I'm going to have a contest soon involving the Delta Pass. So get practicing. Uh, see you next time. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. Uh, next video will probably be my contest video. Okay, see you next time.